I think regardless of whether I put the suit on again or not, and I love this, I'll be associated with the character for the rest of my life. So yeah, if anybody wants to call me about The Flash, I will take the phone call and hear them out. I was cast September, it was a Friday the 13th. So it was September, which is now my lucky day. So it was September 13th, 2013. And then the first Arrow episode I shot was in October of that year, I think. And then we shot the pilot, I wanna say in March of 2014. It was like September until the following July that I was like waiting for season one to start. I think initially when we all signed on, it was a six year run. And then early on, I knew that it was, I was committed to seven. And I got married in season five. I had a kid during season seven. So I think obviously you start thinking about life changes at that point. I think it was two weeks into the hiatus between season eight and nine, when I like made the definitive phone call to everybody that um, I think I wanted a season nine to be the completion of our story. So it was a couple weeks after season eight wrapped up that I kind of went there. It just felt like time, you know, we had done, I think we finished with 184 episodes. So it just, it felt like time. And a, a lot of people wanted us to get to 10 seasons, but in my mind, like we did 10 years. You have been through a lot in nine years. And I'm very proud of you. I call it my map book. We can see what's coming before it happens. Iris, you're gonna get pregnant in three months. It felt like time to do the story to introduce Iris's pregnancy and to meet Nora for the first time as a baby. And it just, it, it felt like we had reached the conclusion. There was a lot of talk about potentially continuing if I were to leave the show or I didn't know what they were gonna do. I just knew it was time for me to step away, have more time with my family after season nine and just enter this next you know, chapter of my life. And I didn't know if they try to keep it going. I didn't know if there was gonna be a spinoff. I still, I, I don't know what necessarily the plan is for the universe. There's people way above my pay grade that can answer that question. But um, yeah, I think I struggled with it for, you know, a year or so before we made the decision. But once the decision was made and we knew it was a shorter season, I think the cast would all agree that it felt like it, it was easier to enjoy every day, every scene a little bit more when you knew that like, you were approaching the end. So it was bittersweet and hard on certain days, but it also made everything a little more fun and easier to appreciate. To get to do a show as long as we got to do it and to get to end on our own terms, it's pretty special, we're pretty lucky. Baby's coming. <laughs> Iris, honey, that's great news. Hey, are you all right? I'm getting a lot of wild emotions off of you. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm really happy I am, I just, I thought Barry would be back in time. Guys, what's, what's that? Barry? Iris. I grew up doing theater and didn't really know what the future looked like as an actor. I knew from a pretty young age, it was like what I was gonna do. And I didn't know what that was gonna look like and was really fortunate early on in my 20s when I was cast on Glee and got to do, you know, some move to LA and was doing TV work. And then things slowed down and I was thinking about going back to New York when Flash happened. I couldn't believe that, you know, I had an opportunity like this. I mean, I, to this day, I think, kind of have imposter syndrome about it. And I feel like I tricked them somehow to get this job. And that whole first season, I mean, as Barry's struck by lightning and getting his powers, and I feel like this incredible thing is happening to me. Like, it felt like we were riding this wave together. So it is kind of poignant that it, it finishes as Barry and Iris are starting family, and now I get to, you know, enter this next chapter of my life with my family. Barry and I were one for like 10 years. At times it was uh, confusing as to, I spent more time as Barry than I did as myself. And it's such a cliche thing to talk about and as an, you know, the actor, but like you forget like where you start and Barry ends at times. I had a lot, you know, as we do in life, a lot of like figuring things out to do over the course of the nine years. And same for Barry, you know, I think Barry made mistakes with Team Flash and he fell on his face and he triumphed and, and I got to do all of that with Barry. I think I really figured out by the end how to manage myself and my stress as best as possible and become an actor, a professional leader that I could be proud of um, by the time it was over. I know how to walk onto a set and take this experience with me. This new speedster, wow. 
wants to build a time machine. I swore I would make sure that we always had a future. I don't want to know everything that's going to happen. I just want to be able to choose it. The thing I'm the most surprised about that I know I'll miss, because I already do at times, is putting the suit on. Because the suit is tough to work in. We don't want any wrinkles in my suit, because, you know, we want it to look as streamlined as possible. So imagine, like, how tight that has to be. Like, I always talked about the armpits. Like, the armpits were, like, the weirdest spot of this, like it was the most painful play, other than like stuff with the face mask. It's as cool as it looks to wear it and it's as comfortable as you could probably imagine it is to wear it. Getting out of it was something that like I couldn't even begin to do by myself. So yeah, the amount of help you need to, to put a superhero suit on is maybe a misconception. If it was a night shoot and it was cold and we were trying to like push through, I would typically just like stay zipped up in it for like longer periods of time. There'd be moments where it's like, okay, we're gonna go to get me out of it and they're going to pull the zipper and it breaks. And they can like go get a tool and fix it and like, but then they gotta fix the suit. But there's that moment of like, you're trapped in it. And just that feeling of like the zipper just broke and like, I'm, all I want is to just take the cowl off for a second and relieve my ears and my nose. And so those are always moments that like, I would feel my body like instantly like heat up and sweat. You're like, no, no, no. It was never lost on me that the su a superhero suit was made for me to put on and I got to go to work and do that. So I, yeah, I would often just look down at, you know, my legs and, and see the, you know, the bottom half of my suit and the boots and, and, and really try not to take that for granted. And the whole last season, knowing it was the last season, just putting the boots on and zipping it, I knew that I was like r running out of time so that I was going to be doing that. And, um, Every time I took it off, I knew like one of these times, I mean, it's gonna be the last time I take it off. My wife came to see my last shot, my wife and my daughter, and um, which was really special. And then she was with me in my trailer as I wrapped out and took the suit off. And as I was finishing taking it off, I handed her my phone and I was like, you know what, you film me hanging this up. Cause it was just like a moment I knew that I'd wanna have. So why come to me? Something tells me you didn't just run 600 miles to say hi to a friend. All my life, I've wanted to just do more, be more. And now I am. And the first chance I get to help someone, I screw up. I think the magnitude of the Arrowverse and the magnitude of the show is something I didn't spend a lot of time thinking about. And maybe that was like subconsciously like intentional because it would have been too overwhelming for me. I think it's something I won't fully understand for maybe years and years and years to see what the impact that Greg Berlanti and, and Mark Guggenheim and, and all of these guys were able to have on the TV landscape. I think that was something that was lost on me too as we did the crossovers. It was like the show was already a full-time job and then we would do these crossovers. You're doing four to five productions at one time. That's also something that I won't like fully appreciate until years go by and I can look at it because I was you know, in the trenches with everybody else and so close to it. It was unlike anything that had ever been attempted. It was like an impossible jigsaw puzzle that we somehow made work a year after year after year. I didn't get COVID for three years and we were, I think, six days away from finishing and I somehow got COVID. God bless them. They somehow made it work and shifted some things around in the schedule and it was, you know, killing me, obviously. I was just like so close to the finish line and ended up having to do the full like 10 day quarantine because it was just like still positive, still positive and I felt fine. By the time I went back to work, I was fine. Everyone kind of wrapped before me because of that. So it felt like they were trying to like keep me in. Like it was, we just kind of prolonged it. I felt fine though. I wasn't, you know, sick by the time I was working. Just had to sit at home and, and wait to do my last few days for a while. The last thing we shot is the last shot you see of the series, which was cool. And it was a big crane shot where, you know, it's pushing in on me, which is really challenging for the crane operator and really challenging for the focus puller because it's like, flying in at me and they're having to keep me in focus as it's coming in and we had to do it like t 10 times I think so it's like we set up for that final shot and I walked out there and everyone's ch clapping and cheering like the you know Neil our boom up like you know called the role and he like she really shouted it it was very dramatic and everybody was like whoa and I, and I screamed and and then we did it 
and then we went again, and then we went again, and then we cut, and then he slated again, and then we went again, and then he cut, and then he slated again. But then it was like the steam was kind of taken out by the time we got it. It was weird because it just felt like wrapping another day of Flash in that moment. But there were like so many people there and, um, and got to, you know, do a lot of goodbyes on set and take pictures and like and we, I think we were on set for like another 30 45 minutes after we wrapped saying goodbye I didn't write anything I was like I'm just gonna go off the cuff you know and I think the first thing I said was like I'll never be able to convey like how I actually feel in this moment and the gratitude and appreciation I have but um yeah I gave it my best shot and said something I think maybe it'll also hit me more and more as I like watch this final season because I haven't seen a single episode yet John Barry? Not. We can do the impossible. Flash. Let's do this one last time. I love this genre. I love sci-fi stuff. I love, you know, superhero stuff. I would be open to doing, you know, any superhero thing again. Um, Flash or something else, as long as it was a character I was excited about. But yeah, I mean, I would love for someone to call me about some Flash related thing at some point down the line. I think regardless of whether I put the suit on, again or not, and I love this, I'll be associated with the character for the rest of my life, no matter what else I do in my career. This will probably be the thing that I'm most recognized for, no matter what, just because of the impact of the, the character in the suit, and that has nothing to do with me. That's just the character's legacy. Some of my favorite scenes on the series to this day are the, the Barry and Henry stuff from season one and two. John, I'm so grateful for the way that he treated me, the respect he showed me, the support he gave me. He was always one of my favorite people to see in a script and to know that I was going to get to work with him. So yeah, to get to be able to try to fill those shoes and be what he was for me to somebody else in the future um, is, is something that I would take really seriously, knowing the impact that he had on me. So yeah, if anybody wants to call me about The Flash, I will take the phone call and hear them out.